Okay, so I recorded this before and the audio was messed up, so I'm just gonna make a quick version and you're not gonna get the stupid long version I did first, so maybe that's for the better. <laughs> uh, this is I'm just gonna show you how to extract me from the RFL underscore db dot file, uh, dot, that file in case it's like corrupted or something or you need to get some ease out, which is what I had to do yesterday. Um, so what you're gonna need is a hex editor, so I'm gonna use this HXD hex editor. And what you'll see is this is all of your me data over here. So what you can do is, this is you'll see like the me name or something here, right, the me name. But what you can do is go to the first letter before it, go one, two, three, so like three bytes over or whatever. And then just copy all of this and you'll stop when this length down here says 4A. They're all going to be the same length of 4A. So what you can do now is open a new file, save it is whatever you want to and then you can open up the me avatar editor to check if it's the correct me <laughs> so there you go so again just to demonstrate um, I'll use one that does not start with this because that's a pretty easy one to tell that's what it starts with go start with this Nazrin one right so one two three start with this Y value go down till I get 4a Save it. And there you go. Uh, I'll also show you if you just want to import me through the RFL underscore db dot dat file for some reason, you should be able to do that as well. Pretty easy. All you have to do is open a me file. So I'm going to use this me file. You copy these data. And you uh, should probably already have made like a dummy me first for what you want to do. So say like I am going to replace the Snazrin one. Um, go down again until you get to 4A. And you're going to replace the Nazrin me when you do this. So which is why I say make a dummy me. Like make a me just call it like I don't know whatever you want maybe this me to be called. So if you want or, or just like make it something you know you're going to do. Like, I don't know call it like cool guy one right. And then replace all these files. And it should replace um, the me correctly. Uh, make a backup probably before you do this, just in case you corrupt the file. Um, but I don't think this should. This should work correctly because they're all, all me files are the exact same number of bytes. So you're basically just replacing a, an already used me um, by doing this. So it should work fine. I'm not gonna save mine because this file is corrupted, <laughs> and I don't want to. Um, replace my backed up data so that's pretty much the whole process it's pretty simple um that's it <laughs>